Amen. 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 Thank you. Nice to see y'all, church family. Amen. 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 Nice to see you too. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. My God. First Corinthians. Yes. Chapter 10, verses 3 through 6. Yes. First Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 through 6. And the word of God reads. And the word of God reads, We live in this world, but we do not fight our battles in the same way that the world does. That's right. The weapons we use are not human ones. Our weapons have power from God and can destroy the enemy's strong place. We destroy people's arguments and we tear down every proud that raises itself against the knowledge of God. Yes, God. We also capture every thought and make it give up and obey Christ. We are ready to punish anyone there who does not obey, but first we want you to be fully obedient. My God, my God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. It's so good to see everybody. Amen. 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 Good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 In the true land of the dying on our way to the land of the living. Yes. Praise the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Yes, Lord.
Lord God. Amen. Amen. We appreciate you all being so quiet. Told the disciples to go over to the other side yes, right. while they dispersed the crowd. Now, while they were there, man, a storm. Right. You would think they had found another bottle of water to talk about. <laughs> yeah. uh, but in the midst of the storm, the Bible says Jesus walked on the water. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they don't believe this. said that he would have passed them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cold, man. Yeah. Yeah. Because in their struggle, mm. Jesus needed them to know mm -hmm. if you cry out to me.
together in my hallelujah. Come on, you say. My hallelujah belongs to yes. you. Yes, David, David, David. Yes, David. Yes, David. My hallelujah belongs to you. Yes. And you keep saying it. We're going to our time of prayer. Huh? My hallelujah belongs Oh, Daddy. Oh, Daddy. 
Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for forgiving us for our sins that we've done knowingly and unknowingly, God. Yes, yes. You've done it a long time ago. Yes. Thank you for letting us be able to stand back up. Yes, Lord. To be anchored in you, oh God. Yes, Lord. And anything that I left out, oh Heavenly Father, we ask that you take care of it, God. Yes, Father. Just thank you again for everything. Thank you for being with this church. Thank, Thank you for being Lord. with our pastor. Yes. Thank you for being with the flock. Yes. Thank you for being with our families, oh God. Yes. We ask that you just open up our blinders, oh God, that may be on our eyes. Yes. We ask that you take the dullness out of our ears so we can actually yes. hear you, God. Yes. And see the situations we need to see and hear. And your daughter, son, Jesus, name, we pray and we say amen. 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 Because you chose us. And we're excited about it. Holy Spirit, do what only you can do in this service today. And let us open up our understanding that we may know this word. And then thank you for providing power to live what we learn. In Jesus' name. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Amen. So good to see everybody today. Amen. Always. <coughs> we thank God for His Word. I want to read verse 9 and then we'll move right into our lesson today. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Verse 9. Come on, listen at the word of the Lord today. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 9. And the word of the Most High God reads, We should not tempt the Lord, try his patience, but come a trial to him. Mm. Mm. Critically appraise him. And exploit his goodness, mm -hmm. as some of them did, and we and we were killed by poisonous serpents. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I want to talk about today: blessed and still complain. Mm -hmm. All right, Lord. Come on. Come on. What we do? Oh, no, Come on now. I'm talking about them. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> I'm just talking about them. Right now. Amen. Blessed and still complaining. I don't care what you think about it. Everybody in this room is blessed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Weak as that phrase was, blessed better than we deserve. Amen. Amen. We're making more than our parents made when we were growing up. Yet and still, we're doing less than they did. We're blessed. Some of us grew up with just a TV in the house. Some grew up with no TV in the house. Oh, but look at us now. We got a TV almost in every room. 
And some of us a TV in the bathroom. Yeah. Now that's how I live it. All right, all right. Blessed, still complaining. I walked to school in grade school. Walked to school in elementary, junior high. My kids were driven to school every day. Praise God. Hallelujah. They don't know what it is about to be on a yellow bus. All right. You don't hear what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blessed. Yeah, come here, buddy. And still complain. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, that preacher. Yeah. Even before school. Even during school. Come on. And even after school. All right. Blessed. Still complaining. Mm. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. And we wonder why we can't get any more from God or out of God. All right. And he's wondering when is he going to get some praise from what he already did. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. We were single, crying every night. All right. Lord, just give me somebody. And because you wasn't specific, he gave you somebody. <laughs> Come on, now, now you cried every night. <laughs> and God is trying to figure out when is the crying going to stop. All right. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. Catching the bus. You didn't appreciate having good working legs. Mm -hmm. He blessed you with a car. Now you complain about the car, though. Where are they going together? Yeah. <laughs> Unemployed, Lord, just give me a job. He give you a job. I'm sick of this job. Make up your mind. <laughs> We're blessed. Amen. Still complaining. Mm -hmm. Y'all that can grow hair ain't satisfied. Want to cut it? All right, all right. Sitting next to a woman that can't grow it, got to buy. It. All right. <laughs> Y'all that still want to be heavy, then that's heavy want to be thin. Blessed and still complaining. All right, all right. Come on. Come on. Come on. You darkers want to be light. You lighters want to be darkers. Don't stay out of the sun. Blessed and still complaining. All right, all right. <laughs> Refrigerator full of food and still complaining. Mm. God. Has been good to us. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But where is the praise yes. that matches His goodness? Yes. Yes. Right. Now that's a good one. Come on. See, when you can drive by the hospital, mm. thank you, Lord, and don't have to stop in the hospital. Yes. 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 Look, thank you. A praise on the go right there. Yes. 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 When you can drive by the cemetery and ain't got to go visit it, hope that you didn't plant it in there. Yeah. You ain't even hear what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. A praise ought to go right there. Right. Yes. Yes. See, right now, you ought to just stop and remember when. <laughs> and a praise will go right there. Mm -hmm. Remember when you were where you were, but you're where you are now because yeah. of the goodness of God. Yeah. Remember the stuff that you didn't have, but because of the goodness of God, now you do have. Yeah. Remember the knuckleheads that used to be in your life, but the goodness of God moved them out of your life. Remember when you just laid in the bed and that's all you did, but now God blesses you to sleep in that bed? Right. Blessed! Oh. And still mm -hmm. complaining. Oh, yes. We've been in 1 Corinthians because God says, you should have been learning something by now. All right, all right. Because God says when you learn something, Kenny, you ought to do better. All right. All right. Watch this. Let's go back to go forward. I want to go to Numbers 13. See, what I will admit, Israel was a trip. You won't look in the mirror, though. Come on, now. Come on, now. Come on. No, we're not literal Israel, but we're spiritual Israel. Because we're on the same road, dealing with the same God, making the same mistakes. All right, all right. Numbers chapter 13. We'll start at verse 
one, I want you to read with your eyes open. Listen to what the word of the Lord says. And the Lord said to Moses, Send men to explore and scout out for yourselves the land of Canaan, which I give to the Israelites. Wait, wait. Did you see what he said? This ain't for God. I know what's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with all this whining and complaining I've been having to deal with, get 12 men, and can't they tell you this was 12 leaders? Get leaders to go and explore and what? Scatter out. For who? Yourself. You didn't see. Y'all know what I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about. You've been wanting to complain about Egypt, but what I'm trying to show you is where I'm taking you is far better than where you've been. Right. Right. Come yeah. on. My God. Get this. Which I give to the Israelites. You see that? No bargaining. Don't have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Let it be settled in you. Mm -hmm. See, whether you make your canon or not, all right, and it'll be based on your walk in God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What you didn't know a front valley is, it's already been given to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. See, everybody in here has your own land full yeah. of milk and honey. Yeah. Right. Everybody in here has your own place that is yeah. on your road that God has ordained. Yeah. House that you didn't build, yeah. vineyards that you didn't plant, yeah. olive growth that you didn't plant, yeah. clothes that you didn't buy. God is all that destined for all of us. It has been given to us. Yeah. But whether you get it or not, don't depend on God. Yeah. All right, yeah. all right. Yeah. Come on now, preach. Watch this. Watch this. Go to verse 25, that same chapter. He said, send men. They sent 12. They sent 12 men to go what? what? Go check it out. See, that's as good as a God. You don't buy a car. Well, I'm going to shake it out. Not unless you're crazy. You don't buy a house. Well, and I mean. Now, yeah, for most of them, we don't pay cash for a house. So now, if I'm going to sign documents that tie me to this house for 30 years, you better believe I'm going up in every floor, every room. I, you better believe I'm checking foundation. Sealing everything because if I'm gonna be in evidence for 30 years, you best believe everything in here better work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. come on. And I needed to work for more than two weeks. Yes. Right. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> God says, check it out. Watch this. Verse 25. What does it say? And they returned. Which means they didn't die. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. Lord. These are 12. Don't all seven. These five. All right. Marissa, they formed it. They didn't live there. Right. And they weren't here on no embassy trip. No, right. No, no, man. man, I'm coming to check it out because in a few minutes, we're going to take all this. Mm -hmm. Watch this. The fact that they returned, they didn't die. Right. Keep reading. They returned what? They returned from scouting out the land after 40 days. That's a lot of days to be in enemy territory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Notice how the verse just said they came back in slings and casts. Come on now. Because they got booked up over there. <laughs> Notice how they said they came back bandaged and bruised. Mm -hmm. What? You know why you didn't read that? Because, see, when God tells you to go somewhere, God is able to keep you while you're there. Yeah. 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 Come on. It's possible to hang out there in an enemy territory for 40 days yeah. and not have no trouble. Come on, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When God is on yeah, your side. That's right. That's right. 26, come on. They came to Moses and Aaron and to all the Israelites. What's this? Congregation in the wilderness of Aaron and Kadesh. Come on. And brought them, brought them word and showed them the land's fruit. 27, what's this? They told Moses. 
we came to the land to which you sent us. Come on. Surely it flows with milk and honey. Surely. This is its fruit. You don't read it in this passage. When you go get grapes. Yeah, come on. In the grocery store. Mm -hmm. You have bought grapes before. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if you eat grapes, you done stole grapes before. Come <laughs> <laughs> like, on, tell the truth, man. Ain't nothing over there that said you can test any of this. <laughs> and we ain't even in the food section to test it for its sweetness. We just over there, we just sample. And Walmart ain't Sam's, it ain't Costco. Now they let you sample in them stores. There ain't no sampling in Walmart. We all over, we just broke all up in the package. Now, when you decide to buy grapes, Price, you don't buy two, two or three grapes at a time. Well, How you buy them? And what do they fit? In your hand. The Bible says the grape was so big, in another translation, it took two men to carry one cluster. Now, where is grape set in size on the fruit scale? Now, to take two men to carry grapes, what about the rest of the food? Yeah, yeah. 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 Ain't nothing about that, huh? Yeah. If it took two men, Mother Rabbit, to carry a cluster of grapes, who was going to get an apple? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> if it took two men to carry a cluster of grapes, I guess what nobody's going to bring a watermelon black. <laughs> Watch this. How did you get this part right here? To what you said us. The next line says what? Surely. Surely. God wasn't lying. Right. Right. I told you it was a land flow with milk and honey. Right. Yeah. No, no, no. No. This isn't figurative. Come on. You ain't been nowhere about where milk, where's milk coming from where it's flowing this land? It didn't say cows was being built. Right. No, no, you're missing all of this. You ain't been nowhere where you seen milk flowing like in a river. Come on. Where have you been where a land flows with honey? How many bees are we talking about? How much part of this song we got to have where this place is flowing with honey? Wait a minute. This surely means God wasn't lying. Right. It's just like we said. Twenty-eight. Watch this. But the people who dwell there are strong, and the cities are fortified and very low. Moreover, there we saw the sons of Anna, of great stature and courage. Wait a minute. Wait, we're talking about blessed, but still still mm -hmm. you see what he said? The people there are strong in the cities, Fortified. and it's giants there. Yeah. Yeah. Go back up to 25. <laughs> they return. You would have 40 days in the land of giants, but they didn't get you. And you were there 40 days. Who are the Then who the bad one? Come on. You can just get in and get out. Stay. You stayed 40 days and took grapes back. Yeah, yeah. How do you hide two men carrying a custard grapes on their shoulder? Real. <laughs> Watch this. This isn't even positive. 29! Amalek dwells in the land of the south of Negev. Yep. The Hittite, the Jebusite, and the Amorite. That's good. I just want, want y'all to see you can read all the words. Come on, sit. Drop down to 30. Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Because while all this is going on, see, 
It's a buzz in the crowd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we see these grapes. But it's giants over there. The cities is fortified. The people are strong. Yeah, we see the grapes, but we hear, we hear all this talk. What's this? Caleb did what? Let us, Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it. Watch this. We all were able to conquer. Wait a minute. We are well able. We are well able to conquer. What is Caleb saying? Let's go. When? Now. 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 Not later. Hey, I have already seen my house on the corner. Let's go get it now. Y'all playing. Let's go get it now. Watch this. Because before we started reading, it says it had been given to them. Yeah. Right. God said it. Uh -huh. 31. But his fellow scouts said, Stop. Mm -hmm. Caleb was one of the 12 leaders. Mm -hmm. A leader said, Let's go right now and get it. But other leaders from the same church. Come on. But his fellow scout said what? We are, not able. we are not able to go up against the people of Canaan. For they are stronger than we are. Wow. 33. Oh, 32, come on. So they brought the Israelites an evil report. Wait, wait. 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 See, they thought 31 would have convinced the folk. <clears throat> 31 is true. Mm -hmm. The Canaanites were stronger than the Israelites. Right. But so was all the other nations they had to deal with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only reason why you got victory there was not because you were stronger than any of the other right. nations. Mm -hmm. God. God was helping. Right. Right. So they brought a what? Evil report out of the land which they had scouted out. Saying, the land through which we went to spot it out is a land that devours its inhabitants. Wow. Stop. Wow. This is not an evil report. What kind of report is this? This is a lie. Because it says the land does what? Devour the inhabitants. Then how did you make it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now. This isn't an evil report. This is a flat out lie. You weren't there a day or two. 40 days. That's a lot of days. <laughs> and I asked you, did they come back bruised or scratched in a sling or a cast? And even if that was true that it devours its inhabitants, it didn't eat you up. All right. All right. Because God was keeping you. All right. Here we go. Now they're going to they switch over and become Psychiatrist, watch this. And all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. Did you see that? Come on, 33. There we saw the Nephilim, or giants, the sons of Anna, who came from the giants. Now you, now you know the lineages. Yeah. They become historians too. Yeah. We did our research on these folks. Yeah. Well, y'all sure know a lot. Come on. <laughs> and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. Mm. So you interviewed them. <laughs> wow. Hey, how do I look to you? You look like a grasshopper to me. That's all I want to know. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> really? Hmm. This wasn't the attitude of the people. These were the ten spies talking like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this. I want you to go to chapter 14, verse 1. Now notice, you've heard the spies speak. Who else have you heard? Caleb. Caleb has something to say. Who didn't have nothing to say? Moses. Ain't that interesting. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Luke chapter 14, verse 1. Blessed still complaining. Watch this. And all the congregations cried out with a loud voice. And they wept that night. You didn't even sleep. Where are they while they're crying? <laughs> At the doorway of Cain. Timmy. We're talking about one in the wilderness. Delisha, you right? Right there. Right there. You can see it. Price is right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. It's tough eyes. One said we can go. Mm -hmm. Ten said we can't. Mm -hmm. Sidebar. See how we like we like committees. Mm. All right. We like a lot of folk making decisions. This is what happens when a lot of folk make decisions. Mm -hmm. See, up to now, mm -hmm. God told Moses, Moses told the people, get up. Let's go. Uh, come on. Guess what? Let's go. Yeah. They got up. Mm -hmm. I just want to feel like Jesse right there. That ain't real <laughs> Watch this. When well, you bring. I'm committed to the table. Mm. Well, I think, who asked you what you think? Mm -hmm. That's what the 10 said. Right. I don't think we should go. <laughs> Watch this. They cried all night. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. Watch this. It gets better. All the Israelites grumbled and deplored their situation. Wait. Mm -hmm. What is the situation? You're right next door to the greatest land in the whole world that I've been watching over just for you. I brought you out of the worst place in your life. All right. Come on now. Allowed you to survive the worst experiences of your life in the wilderness. Brought you to the greatest place in your life in order for you to live the best. Say. Now, if you're a Bible marker, mark this for the last time. Listen to what they say. Whether that we had died in Egypt or that we had died in this wilderness, I'm trying to get you to live. And all you got is dying on your mind. That means you're not even on the same page with God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Sidebar. What's on your mind? Mm -hmm. Come on. All right, Come on. all right. That's good. God trying to get us to live. We got dying on our mind. Verse 3. Come on. Why does the Lord bring us to this land to fail by fall by the sword? Our wives and little ones will pay, will be a prey. Is it not better for us to return to Egypt? Where, where are we having this conversation at? At the door. Canaan is right there. Toy is right there. How long are you to travel from Egypt through the wilderness? You're right next door to Canaan talking about. Wait a minute. Look at verse 4. And they said to one another, let us choose a captain and return to Egypt. What is that in English? Get rid of Moses. Get rid of these two. Clients. You know why we can say that easily? Be because we were never following him in the first place. Right. Come on now. Right. Come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sidebar. Mm -hmm. You know, in court, you know, everything can't just go on, you know, when it's special stuff, you know, the judge said, sidebar, it just, 
Just the attorneys can just come up there and they have little private conversations. This is a lot of private conversation. See, I don't get thrown off over no title or nothing. Some of y'all call me some of everything. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's really all right with me. Uh, some of y'all say, Pastor, you, sh you really shouldn't. Because I ain't leaving you nowhere. <laughs> You see how quiet I got in here? <laughs> see, the Bible teaches pastors are leaders, but a leader is only a leader if somebody is following. You know, you, you just call me brother, Joe, whatever, Peter, Paul, call me anything. Because just like in verse 4, they weren't following him. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Come on now. All right. Because, see, some of the struggle that we encounter right now is a direct result of freelance. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. It'd be different if I stood up here and talked this kind of talk. They go on in a lot of churches. You know, my wife's birthday's coming up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pastor Sure would like to take first lady somewhere nice. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. See y'all looking crazy. Because you don't know what that means. Come on. Yeah. See, you know why I look crazy? Because after five years, guess what you ain't never heard me say? Come on, man. Nothing like that. Yeah. Ooh, pastor show would like a new car. Ooh, pastor ain't bought a new suit in a, a year or two. Church, I almost like y'all pastor to be ragged. I don't talk like that. Mother right. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah, all I try to do is get y'all in the best place for God to bless y'all. That's all I try to do. All right. I don't ask nothing for me. I don't ask nothing for my wife or kids. I don't be throwing no suggestive hints out there because it's God's job yeah. to make sure my needs are met. Yeah. Not according to you. Right. According to His riches yeah. and glory yeah. in Christ Jesus. Yeah. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. Watch this. And so we're in trouble because of freelancing. Y'all think that what I say is my words. Yes, sir. Uh -oh. Come on now, come on now, come on now, preacher. Come on. And all I'm telling you is trust pages. Read this, read this, read this, read this, read this. Hey, this is what, what the Lord said. And the reason we struggle is because you think they're my words, and because you believe they're my words, you also believe it's optional. Yeah. Uh -oh. Come on, all right, all right. That's just for me. Come on, man. That's just him talking. He's a man just like I am. Then why didn't God call you? Mm. All right. Oh. Yeah, man, just like I am. Then why ain't he using you? Yeah. Mm. I didn't ask that. He's he the reason why I'm here. Yeah. But yet we want to think that because I I, I see. Mm -hmm. I know. You don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. And when God tries to clue us in, we have better ideas. Mm. All right. Mm. And so we struggle. Just as they're finished struggle. Right. Let's get a captain in return to Egypt. Mm. See, they got to get a captain because surrender what they knew is Moses. Mm. We're going back there. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the reason why mm. Tim Moses was going back there because Moses was following God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. If nobody else was. Yes. And what, what Moses and the people knew was, see, we know he following God. Mm -hmm. And God is going this way, and we want to go that way. And because he following God, we've got to get another captain. Yes. Right. Watch this. See, even when you have ultimately disrespected the man of God mm -hmm. beyond belief. Come on. Yes. Come on. This is the difference between you having a man of God right. and just a preacher on you. Yes. Right. See, when you disrespect the preacher, the preacher give you the peace sign. Well, half of it. You figure out later. See, when you have a man of God leading you, Christ, this is what happened in verse 5. Then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before of the assembly of Israelites. You know why they did that? This is a mercy position. Because they know 
a storm coming yes, yes. from heaven. Yes. You ain't ready for it. Yes. Any little brother of storm shepherd gonna help you with this. <laughs> and this is a mercy position. Moses and oh my God. <laughs> they fell on their faces because they understand. Y'all okay. have stepped so far out of bounds and tell this ain't even funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. Watch this. Verse 6. And Joshua, son of Nun, and Caleb, son of Thank you, who were among the scouts who had searched the land, rent their clothes. It's a Greek sign. It's a Greek sign. Something bad gonna happen. Yes, Lord. Seven. And they said to all the company of Israelites. Wait. <laughs> I need you to understand something. Some people show up in our lives, you think as an annoyance, mm -hmm. it's your last chance. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on. Mm -hmm. I wish somebody was getting this. Mm -hmm. See, some of us are in tough situations now, but there were good times in your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. God knew this was coming. And the reason we're not as prepared as we should be is because there were people standing around you saying, trouble is around the corner. Mm -hmm. All right. The only problem was you weren't here at the end. You can't hear it now. Uh -huh. Verse 7, come on. The land through which we pass as scouts is an exceedingly good land. Yes, it is. Here's the real truth. Verse 8. If the Lord delight in us. Now watch this. See, real Bibles know he could have took the if off. All right. Take the if off and read it. The Lord delights in us. You know why you can read it that way? Because you're right here. Right. I will never bring you out of something if I'm not able to bring you into something. You're missing God all day and all night. See, sometimes we're crowd because we got laid off from the last job, but God knew they were overworking you and underpaying you. They weren't treating you right, and I know you didn't have sense enough to leave a stupid job, so I caused them to lay you off so that I can bring you out of that bad job into a better job. Bless, but you won't praise him. You want to complain. The Lord delighted them because they had survived Egypt. You won't even shout. Watch this, watch this. I'm going to give you this for free. Y'all, mm -hmm. this is a whole sermon in itself. But then when I was reading Job, and you, mm -hmm. catastrophe after catastrophe. Mm -hmm. Catastrophe after catastrophe. You know where the shadow was and all that? Mm -hmm. Watch this, Mother Rabbit. With every catastrophe, the Bible says, one escape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> one escape, Kirby, to tell the story. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this, watch this. We grew up with alcoholics. And most of our old drinking buddies is dead. What you sit up here for? Because you escaped the terrorist. We used to run with a whole group of hormongers, but they didn't die from AIDS, from syphilis, from all kinds of STDs. What in the world is you sitting up here for? Because you were the one that escaped the terrorist. God Almighty. We're right here. And y'all cutting the food. Verse 9. Only do not rebel against the Lord. Neither fear the people of the land. For they are bred for us. Come on now. Their defense and their shadow of protection is removed. Get this. From over them. But the Lord is with us. Fear them not. Wait. You eat it. Spin. You don't just eat it. Spin. You eat it up. Yeah. Did I think I'm breathing? He said, "Man, y'all tripping. There's big giants that's big bread for us. Come on. You know, when you go to a restaurant hungry, I'm talking about hungry. Not H U N H O N. Do you know?" 
But we see it don't matter the, the size of the loaf of bread they bring out. Right. <laughs> right. 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 They're gonna bring no they're gonna bring no honey or no no butter nut. We're gonna bring a milk to butter. No kind of dipping sauce, I don't know. Do you, I'm talking about if you ate your in. See if you ate you in, you may be selected. I'm waiting on the appetizer. No, folks that ate your in, you, you will eat through that bread. I don't care how big the loaf is. You know, sometimes you just come off in the middle, you just get a big old hard on in on, but when you ate your in, man, you will bite off into that, that hard in on the end. Come on. I need, I need to go for this. No matter how big it is, you cut right through it. He said, man, they are praying for us. They ain't got no defense. And the reason I know it is because the greatest warrior known to man is on our side. See, when you can say, the Lord, you blessed. Yes. Or they treating you bad on your job. But is the Lord with you? Amen. 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 See how weak that praise was? Amen. See, when the Lord is with you, you blessed. Yes. And don't even know it. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Mother Deborah said she asked for a job, got the job, started complaining about the job, and they fired her. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Her and her ride. <laughs> but the rod didn't know no better. You missing this? The mercy of God worked in Mother 